kings and queens it's your girl queen say hannah back with another episode it has been so freaking long if you are new welcome i am queen c if you are not new i know it's been so long like so freaking long like forever like forever ever forever ever yeah um i haven't done this in so long and i'm so excited to get back with you guys like i'm so excited to talk to myself i'm so excited to talk to the camera knowing that somebody's gonna watch this and we're gonna interact and we're gonna hee hee ha ha like i'm so excited and without further ado let's just get into it so there has been so much going on that i'm just gonna explain wow I'm showing you guys the new sneakers that I picked up and we're just gonna go from there so before we get started into what has been happening in my life these are this is not in no particular order meaning I don't know if I got these first or these well I do know I got these probably before anything else but I'm not 100% sure so it's not really in any order I'm just showing you guys what I recently got in the past couple months maybe like two three months max I, I believe I've been wearing mostly every single thing that I'm about to show you so they may have like a little you know stuff on them or whatever but anyways so the first sneakers are these dunks I don't know the name of them I'm not sure if they have a name um yeah so I'm not sure if they have a name but I got these for retail they retail for $95 and I got these in a size four. And a lot of people don't, a lot of people didn't really care for these. A lot of people was like, okay, whatever. But the reason why I got them and I actually really, really love them is because one, it has my favorite color, which is like this olive type of green that's going on. And then it's black. So it literally matches with almost anything that I wear. So, I wear these all the time, but I keep them in such great condition. And as you can see, they're kind of like opposites. But to me, it's a dope sneaker. It goes with pretty much everything. And I feel like I'm giving a review, and I'm not. But, but as far as my life, there's been so much going on. Okay, for one, I got a full-time position as an fashion... Ugh. I have a full-time position as a fashion assistant stylist so that has been taking up pretty much majority of my time and majority of the time I'm too tired to make YouTube videos I'm too tired to literally do anything I come home and I go to sleep I'm too tired to cook I'm too tired to even walk my dog so it's not even that I'm too tired it's just that majority of the time I do come home late so I'm not able to do a lot of things and one of those things is making YouTube videos now yes I could find the time however when you've just been doing so much stuff it's like you know when you have like a day off or whatever you don't want to do anything but I said I have this day off I'm going to do so much stuff on my to-do list and on my to-do list was make a YouTube video because I haven't talked to you guys in months so the next sneaker are these 12s. Again, it's a youth size four. And they're white and red. Focus. Come on, focus. Focus. Okay, yeah, and it's white and red. And I try to keep them as clean as possible, but of course they get like a little dirty. But I think these are super dope. I don't wear them as much because they are mostly white. But the little white and the, I mean the white and the little bit of red, <laughs> fire. And I think these are my only 12s. Yeah, these are my only pair of 12s that I have. I don't like 12s that much. I don't really like the structure of 12s. I feel like they're really bulky. However, I fell in love with these the first time that I seen them. I had seen them before they released. And I was like, yeah, I have to have them. Because they're just clean. Like, they're just a clean sneaker. You know what I mean? I have been doing a lot of revamping with my closet. That's another thing that's been going on. I have realized that I may have a lot of clothes compared to other people, but I don't have, not that I don't have, is that I feel like I don't have clothes 
that I could put together. Like, I don't have outfits. I feel like I just have a whole bunch of things. And these things are bothering me. Because, like, why do I have so much clothes? But I never could figure out what I could wear. And it's like, girl, get it together. Are you shopping just to have clothes in your closet? Or are you shopping to actually have outfits? So... I am revamping my closet, especially for the winter time. I feel like the winter time, in my opinion, is the best season to dress up and to like show your style because you can have layers, you can just put on a whole bunch of crazy stuff, and it's like it works because it's cold, so like you can wear all this crazy stuff, and it's like winter pieces and fall pieces are so much doper than summer pieces i don't know in my head this is my opinion and the funny thing about it is i actually hate winter because i hate the cold but i do love layering and dressing up and just putting on anything and everything without having to be like oh my god i'm gonna be hot in this like no i've been shopping which i do need to stop because i feel like i've been shopping a lot now that it's like okay cr you're going broke but it's okay because you know I don't, I don't, I don't have a just a justification for that, but it's okay. It's good. It's cool. You know? Yeah. Next sneaker is these Ami sneakers that I am so surprised that I got them because I didn't get just one sneaker. <clears throat> I got two. So, backstory, when they originally came out, the first time they came out, I didn't get them. And I was sad because I was like, they're so cute. And I really, really wanted the green pair because I love green. I love olive. And I was sad and my heart was broken. But then when they was like, they're going to release again. But they're going to release, um, they're going to do a raffle. I was like, oh, I'm not going to get them. When it comes to raffles, I never win. I'm not going to get it. But guess what? The man upstairs had faith in me because I got two pairs. Not just one, I got two pairs. How much you got? Zero? Oh, okay. Now I'm joking, but I won both of them in a wrap and I was so surprised when I got the email. I was like, oh yeah, it's gonna tell me, unfortunately, blah, 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 blah. But no, it didn't. It was like you won. I forgot exactly what it said, but it was like you were selected or something. You got the pair. At first, I only seen, at, the first email was the gray ones that I seen. And I was like, oh, I got them. Oh, my God, I'm happy. But, damn, I really wanted the green one. But it was the gray one. And then I kept scrolling my email, and it was another one. I was like, oh. I was like, oh, my gosh. I got the pair. Like, the pair that I really wanted was green one. And I was like, wow, I got both of them. I'm lucky. But let me just show y'all. And what I do like about the boxes is that they differentiate in the colors. For example, as you can see, these are... If it would focus this is the gray pair then on this box it has like the green pair so you can tell like because the way my closet is set up i can't see exactly what sneakers which because i do remember the boxes obviously but sometimes i can't tell which sneakers which and i like the way they did this because i know this is the green pair and this is the gray pair isn't it so cute like it's such a cute dad sneaker but like a modern cute dad sneaker if that makes sense and then on the back it has like an apple basketball and then it says new york and these are fire i'm sorry but these are so cute so fire um there's only one other new balance style i don't remember the name i think it's like v500 or something like that i'm not sure i'll put it on the screen but that's the only other pair of new balances that i wear that i want so bad that i haven't checked in a while if somewhere on some site that they still have them i have to check because i haven't checked in a very 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 long time but i love these they go with literally anything and they also come with a extra pair of laces these are the gray pairs i wore these when i went to la like every single day so they are like a little dirty can you guys even see yeah they are like a little dirty but you know there's nothing a little clorox wipes can't fix are these no these are actually see like there's little scuff marks and stuff like that but you know there's nothing a little 
Wipe, wipe can't fix. Feel me? Feel me? Yeah. Another pair of laces. <laughs> cool beans. Another cool thing that has been happening is that I have been traveling, like I just said. I went to LA. That was the very first time that I actually went to LA. And it it was cool. I didn't get to see much because I was working, but what I got to see seems really cool and it does seem like a place I actually would live because I've been saying forever that I would move to LA even though I've never been there before. I've been saying forever, I want to move to LA. That's where I want to go. That's my dream place. And I think to the second, even after I've been there that, I won't mind. The part I went to was West Hollywood, so it was very similar to New York, you know, everyone on top of each other, all the houses being closed, blah, blah, blah. However, I'm a city girl, so I don't mind. And I'm not talking about city girls like JT, whatever. I'm talking about like big buildings. Every, you can see people when you go outside, like that's what I mean. But I'm, I'm not a city girl. At least I don't think I am. Nah, I'm not, I'm not. So I have been going to a lot of places recently. So LA was one of them and Miami is another. And I know you guys are probably like, you've never been to Miami, no. The only one time I've been to Miami, I was there for literally a couple of hours. And the only reason why I was there is because I was helping somebody move. So I drove all the way down there, spent a couple of hours, you know, helping them move. And then that was it. I never experienced Miami, nothing. Like literally nothing. So when I went there, I was like, that is not a place I would live because it's just not for me. Miami is not for me. Like, sorry for whoever lives there or loves it. Mm -mm. Not me. I mean, cool place, you know, to go on a little, I wouldn't even say vacation. Just if you want to party, if you're just in the mood to party and you just want to get away, that's Miami for you. Next sneaker are these Sakai's. It's these low Sakai's that a lot of people surprisingly don't like or I would say didn't buy. I only seen one person with these. Um I guess because the way that they're cut and how low they are but i feel like this sneaker matches again with a lot of things that i wear like sakai's i won't mind getting dirty like i really wouldn't as you can see also they're a sneaker that is just going to get dirty you can try to keep it clean but i just feel like sakai's are just going to get dirty especially the pairs that have the layering of this white material they're gonna get dirty and that's just point blank period but they're super comfortable it matches with like everything and it looks great with long ass pants because you can't even see that they're low so yeah <laughs> so another thing that's been going on is because of my job i've also stopped doing i guess you could say creative direction like the videos where i would set up my own shoot and create my own ideas i've stopped it but i believe that i'm going to find a way to start it again because i really do miss it because with styling it's totally totally different than creative direction yes they do have similar components but it's very 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 different and the reason why i love creative direction is because you can do like whatever you want like you take the idea in your head and you execute it and i feel like that's so fun so i'm gonna try to start back with that again if you guys are interested in that i will drop my website on the screen and also in the description box now last but definitely not least definitely not least if my camera situation just changed my camera just died and i'm like i'm about to finish you really gonna die on me right now and before i talk about this i do want to say that i am revamping my entire youtube <sighs> some of you guys loved my theme song and then some of you guys are fake because why didn't you tell me girl this is not working out no, it's not that. It's 
I feel like I just want to do, I want to keep things really clean. I want to keep things really simple. So the theme song is going and I'm probably just going to do a simple theme in the beginning. Probably not even because a lot of people when they watch YouTube videos, they just want to, I can't even, I can't even snap properly, but they just want to get to the point. They just want to see what the video is about. Okay. The video is about showing sneakers. Okay. Show me the sneakers. So me doing that 30 second little intro, we just gonna move past that. So I'm gonna be revamping my YouTube. Not sure if I'm gonna continue doing thumbnails or no thumbnail at all. I'm not 100% sure, but what I do know is that I wanna keep things really clean, really simple on YouTube. I wanna get straight to the point. So the intro video is gonna be out. Not sure if I'm even gonna have an intro. I don't know yet. Please, please, please comment down below if you guys have any suggestions. They would really help out. Also, comment down below what videos you guys want to see from me. Now for the last sneaker of the day, the night, the morning, the afternoon, whatever time that you are seeing this. First of all, let's just talk about the gold foil. Do y'all see it? Because I see it. Like... You are one weird dog. I would say if you do plan to get these gold size up because I got a size 5 and they fit me like to the T that I would want to get a bigger size. Like I would want to do the 5.5. But either way, they still do fit me just to the T that I would rather get a 5.5. But whatever. Not complaining about them. Not going to return them because I love them. These are the sneakers. I... I think they're dope as hell. Can it focus? Is it focused? I don't know. I think these are dope as hell. That's how I truly feel. They're dope as hell. The only thing, the only thing that bugs me about them is I don't know if they just placed like a, like I'm not sure the material. You ever seen those videos where somebody's customizing something like for example like an xbox and they dip like the cover of the xbox in this water and then have like the artwork floating in the water and then it comes out and then i don't i don't know if you guys ever seen like something like that but i feel like that's what they did with the green design and that's the only thing that bugs me because it's not 100 percent perfect and you can like see the little imperfections and i just wish that they had another technique to get it on there but other than that, I love the sneaker. The colorway is dope. This green is dope with the gold. Like, come on. You're not telling me nothing with the little gold tip on the laces. These sneakers, I love all of her designs. The only reason why I don't have them is because I love them, but I didn't love them enough to get them. The only other ones that I loved enough to get was the ones with the fur that came with the fur in the front. I'll insert a picture. And the ones that I wasn't able to get and that I'm still not able to get because the reselling price is so high. But I think and I believe that I will get them one day because I will save my money just for those sneakers. Are the ones. The silver and black ones. And I believe those were her first sneakers that she made with Jordan. I'm not 100% sure. I am telling you now, I will manifest those sneakers in my closet. Okay? It will happen. It will happen. I do say a lot of the sneakers that released that I wanted, I couldn't get. I don't feel like paying resale price because the resale price on these Jordans and these Nikes are just ridiculous. There's no reason for them at all. Like honestly no reason and the only reason why they're so high is because these these bots are buying all of them out and then because they know that they're buying all of them out and there's a limited quantity to the people who are lucky to get them for reselling price i mean that are lucky to get them for retail price they're reselling them for a ridiculous amount because they know that they freaking bought all of them so why not just sell it for a thousand plus why not? You don't have them, I do. Come get them. If you're not paying a thousand, somebody else would. And it's just unfair. It's really unfair. I don't like it, so. I like my nails.
but if you want to comment down below any more episodes that you guys want to see any ideas that you guys have any of these sneakers that you guys want that you guys don't have or sneakers that you think i should get that i would look good in comment down below because you know i love a good pair shoes baby okay period but that is all make sure you guys like make sure you guys comment and make sure you guys subscribe why because it's the average spooner should have subscribed sooner and i'll see you guys in the next episode Mwah.